Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to discuss about interlocking concept in ELGs, right? So let us see how to do interlock generally. Okay. So we will be taking here two motors or two outputs, and we need to try. Uh, we'll be interlocking both of them. Okay. So see wh what we are going to do. Okay. So let us take our network. So we'll be right clicking and clicking on the network here. Okay. So in this way. will be having one network here okay now see what will be going doing is here if you observe i have taken some tags right so this is our start tag okay start push button for motor number 1 which whose address is i0.0 similarly motor number 2 uh, motor number 1 as an output q0.0 okay and uh, we have a stop push button a stop push button uh, i0.1 and uh, motor number 2 output as q0.2 and i start push button for motor number 2 as i0.2 okay so all these are basically the inputs and outputs right so basically what we are having is two in uh, two inputs sorry three inputs input for starting the motor number 1 input for starting the motor number 2 an input for stopping both the motors okay so we'll be stopping both the motors using single push button only and we'll be starting both the motors with different push buttons and we are having the outputs as motor number 1 and motor number 2 right now see what we'll be doing here is suppose we are turning on a motor okay so i have taken one no and i'll be using one output as a motor okay and i'll be using a holding which we have seen in the last lecture okay so i am taking this and holding like this okay now i'll be using one and see here to stop it okay right so i'll just increase its size right now see what we'll do is let me so and this really let me increase it like this okay now see what we'll do is i'll give the address as start motor number 1 okay and this as a stop okay and this as q0.0 right similarly this will be q0.0 okay now this has been done right now i'll take another you know and uh, and c and output and i'll place one parallel here and closing it all right so in this way uh, again uh, start motor 1 2 and this will be stop okay and this will be the output q0.0 one basically okay and this will be q0.1 so this is we already know right so what we have done is we have done an arrangement to start the motor number 1 and motor number 2 individually using this stop start and start push button for both the motors we have a single push button here to stop both the motors motor number 1 as well as motor number 2 and both are in the holding state right now when you are pressing this start push button so automatically the motor number 1 will also be high when you are pressing start push button for motor number 2 the motor number 2 will be also in the high condition so let us observe it what is going to happen here okay so i am downloading the logic now okay i will be going to online mode okay now let us observe i will just Go in the monitor mode. Actually, this stop is in high state, so let me turn it off. Now see what will happen when I am pressing the start push button. Motor number one will be turning high. See here, push button number one is turning on the motor number one, and when I am releasing it, the motor number one will be in the high state. Right? Now what I will do is 
I'll try to start this motor number two. Okay, so motor number two, I'm starting it. Okay, so I'm starting the motor number two from here. See here, if you observe the motor number two is in high state. Okay, so both the motors are in high state now. Okay, so here if you observe, we are having the same push button for both the uh, motors to stop them. Okay, so let us see when I am pressing this stop push button from here see here when i am pressing it both the motors are turning off right so actually this is any nc so that's why both the motors are turning off right now what we want is when i am pressing th this start push button the motor one should high go high okay so it will be in the high state now okay now when i am when this motor is in high state okay so what we want is when this motor is in high state we want that even if you start this motor motor number two it should not be in the high state okay so when when this motor is in high state this motor should not be in the high state at any cost okay so what we'll do is see here what is requirement when this motor is in high state this motor should not be in the high state okay so what we'll do is i'll just put an nc here okay so what we'll do is i'll just put an nc here see what i'll do is i'll go here and just take one nc okay and i'll give the addresses motor number one right so in this way motor number one I have used the address of this output okay so basically whenever this motor is in high state this will become no okay so whenever this motor is in high state this output is in high state this will become no because both are having the same addresses so whenever this is high so this motor this no this nc will also be in the high state that's why it will become no and it will not allow this motor even if you are pressing this push button it will not allow the power to go from here to this motor number two okay so let us observe what is going to happen okay so let us see what is going to happen i am just using and let me download this one go online okay and monitor mode okay now see see when i am pressing this start push button okay so i am pressing it so this motor is in high state motor number one is in high state okay and i am releasing the push button so it will be in the high state right now this is in high state now i want this motor okay so i will try to turn on this motor but no, no, observe carefully here this no uh, this nc is in no condition right now because this motor is in high state that is why this address will be in the no state so it will not allow the power see i'll just try to start the motor number two from here if you observe see here the power is going from here but this this ng contact which is act in active state okay so because of the active state this is acting as no right now okay so till this motor is in high state this will be in the no state okay so it will not allow this motor to turn on turn on at any cost okay so here this is what we call as interlock okay so what we will do is see here in order to turn on the motor number two okay see if you want this motor to turn on okay which motor motor number two okay so we need to deactivate this motor number one okay so how to deactivate this motor just pressing the stop push button will stop this motor and then this will again become in nc contact okay so again it will be in the normal state so normal state of nc is always nc so it will allow the current to flow from here to here and this motor will be in the high state so let us observe okay 
see here i am just stopping the motor number one now by pressing the stop push button and deactivating now see my this contact now is in nce state right now when i am pressing this one okay now i'll press what press the input motor number two okay so i am pressing this motor number two and releasing it so see here you can observe the motor number two is in the high state now okay so the same thing is here also so now this uh, this contact is in normal state so this is allowing now okay and the motor number two is in the high state now even if you press the motor number one's contact okay so if you press the motor number one that also will be in the high state see here okay this is in the high state but again it is not allowing this motor to turn on okay here if you observe we are not stopping it okay so still the motor number one is getting high and the motor number two is in low state now okay so what we'll do is we'll make some arrangements like this okay okay so let us see what we'll do now i will place one and the here okay and i'll give the address of this motor number to here okay so now what will happen so the same condition which was happening for motor number two the same condition will be for motor number one also so what i am talking is when i am pressing this start push button the motor number two will be in the high state and it will not allow this motor number one to be in the high state until and unless this motor number two is in the low state okay so now the condition is in whenever any one of the motor is in high state we need to stop it first and then only we can turn on the motor number two or we can say another motor okay so let us observe here let me download it once again okay now let me stop all the contents first now uh, and go to the monitor mode from here now what we can do is see here when i am pressing start this motor motor number one okay i am activating this motor number one and i am releasing the content okay so this motor is in high state now here if you observe this motor is in high state now i am trying to start the motor number two okay so i am pressing this one okay so this is not happening why because here if you observe this is not happening because this has become no now okay so in order to start the motor first we need to stop the motor number one okay so i'll press what so here let me turn it off now i'll press this button okay i'm pressing it and releasing it okay now i'll press this motor number two okay now i pressed this one so the motor number two is in high state okay so the push button number two is pressed so the motor is in high state now i'll just see here this is in high state still okay now i'll try to start the motor number one see here even if you are trying to start the motor number one it is not getting high because here also we have used an nc contact of motor number two which is not allowing the motor number two turn high okay so before starting any one of the motor or we want to change the state of other motor we need to first stop the previous motor okay so okay so in this way we have stopped this and now i'll just turn on the motor number one okay so in this way we are using this interlocking concept right 